Okay, a tour of Uncle Billy's isn't complete until you get to see the inside of the ho our room. But first of all, there is parking for five dollars a night, which is a day, which is good because they let you stay all day. And it's in the back, and there are some lights, but people recommend that um, you are a little bit wary just because it's in the back with everybody else's parking lot. So here's the the hotel. Um, it's in a circular mode and then the rooms are up to date because they have the fancy card things you can get in that way. Okay, so we always get the king size room because there's just two of us and it's I think a average size room with luxurious hangers and luggage racks. The bathrooms are kind of nice because the sink is separated. <coughs> and what I like is they have a little refrigerator. It's not filled with all the stuff they try to sell. It's like you could put all your junk in there. Because we like to stay here for two days, it's fun because then I can we bring our lunch and, and snacks. And there's the bathroom. And they have a standard shower. You gotta love Uncle Billy's because they do everything else just a little different in that they don't they put in a new door. But for some reason they forget to put trim in. And the living room part. Um, kind of 1950s furniture and 1970s carpet. But we found the sheets are clean and the, our air conditioning worked very well and they give us a fan if we need it. And they even have internet here. If you can figure out how to, did you figure out the password, Bob? didn't work for you. I did last night. And they have a couple comfy chairs. And everybody's got their own little um, patio. Or lanai. And this is how you lock the door at night. You go like this. And then you're secure. Nobody can get in. And then you got little chairs, which we use for hanging our towels and swimsuits after we've been on a day at the beach. So this is our hotel room at <laughs> Uncle Billy's. Inside dimensions. And 